It's not getting any warmer, folks. Let's just wait for this car. Blah, 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 car. Car, car, blah, blah. Ra, blah, ya, ya, car. Blah, car, ya, ya. Do you like how many rhymes I can do with car? Ha, ya, na. Right, let's go through rigs. Right, what you've got to consider, yeah, rigs wise. So, I'm loose feeding on my short swim. Um, and that's gonna, that's why I've got like a, a, a thicker bristle on because I'm expecting different brights on my short swim. With that element of loose feed, when I'm flicking my rig out, yes, I'm holding a tight line so it's coming into that ledge. I'm expecting a lot of my bites to be sort of through the water or as soon as it's hit the bottom. So I'm not as overly bothered short as I am long about me bristle thickness, cheeky. So I've got me F1 maggot, 1.5 mil bristle for short, and I'm using me F1 fine, 1.2 mil bristle for out long wear. I'm expecting to wait a lot longer for bites. So I don't want as much resistance there. Obviously, if it was really windy, this, that and the other, then you've got to consider, you know, going slightly thicker in the air in your bristles as well so that's where again your f1 maggot or your f1 pellet will come into play on your long line as well waffling though aren't i folks well that's what we're here for you know i like waffling so short rig first then now it's going to surprise you without actually light i'm fishing now let me show you how deep it is first uh, so there's 60 inches so there's five foot so we are at it's, what's that's all that's about four inches above that isn't it it's not salt's four inches, folks, but that's for another day. Uh, so we're, we're, we're over. We're just over six foot there, folks, yeah? So it's proper deep. And I've only got on a 412, as I said, F1 maggot float. Now, I won't lie, I've had to add a little bit of line. <laughs> because because it's been blooming cold, folks, and I didn't want to do another rig up for you. And I checked in my box, I didn't have any rigs that were deep enough. So I've just, I've just added a little bit more line, that's all. Now, line-wise... It's important that you're not going too thick main line and certainly hook them. So what we've got, we have got 0.14 AccuPower main line on for pretty much everything the standard this time of year. So November through to like blooming February, all my main lines for all this style of fishing, catching everything swimming, 0.14 AccuPower, spitting everywhere, aren't they? And then hook length. I've never found the need to go really lighter than a 0.10 on these commercials, folks. Obviously, natural waters are completely different, um, but commercials, 0.10, because you don't know what you're going to hook. You know, there's some right... Here's car. Car, yeah, now. Blah, blah. Ha, ha. White car, yeah. ta -ra. Yes, loads of rhymes in there. Um, yeah, so 0.10. You don't know what you're going to hook. You might hook some massive, big, wobbly carps, and obviously, they're not really fighting much this time of year, so point 0.10 will do everything. I've never found it makes much difference, folks. Natural waters, yes, it does. So let's first off go through elastic. Now, I've even dropped my elastic size as well. You know how much I love our slip elastic. Normally, I'd be on a sixes. We're on fives today, folks, simply because we can wallop into these fish. Loads of elastic comes out, cushions everything. We don't really want to be bumping fish. I probably said it now though, folks, and I'm going to bump loads of fish, aren't I? Because they always do, it's going to happen. Um, but that's why we want a nice soft elastic. Now, I've had a lot of you ask how I actually attach these, so I'm just going to briefly just run you through it. So all we've got, we've got our smallest Dacron, uh, the actual bead of there, pressing Dacrons there, take the Dacron out, slide the bead up your elastic, it's two overhand turns on your elastic, pull it tight, trim the knots off, uh, sorry, trim the elastic back, so you're left with that, it's basically a crow's foot, put your line over the top and then that comes back and attaches it over, it's so neat, I don't like using connectors or um, this, that and the other because, well it's one of them, there's not wrong with them but it's just personal preference at the end of the day folks, waffling again aren't they? So yeah, 0.14 main line, coming down the rig so you can see like where I've attached the line to the line, back shots as always folks, you know, massive for that, so two number eights back shots, four or five inches above the float, 412's F1 maggot, I've explained why, slightly thicker bristle, different bites, and then coming down the rig, now this is the important thing here folks, so I love fishing like bulk and droppers, get job done when there's a lot of fish there, but there's no, no room for that in my armory sort of this time of year folks, I want to, everything's going to be spread out or tapered, so all we've got here is a series of number 10 shots tapered through the rig, so obviously let's start from this end, um, we've got a size 18 SFLB hook, 4 inches of 0.10 AccuPower line, and then it's number 10, same distance as my hook length there, 4 inches, another number 10, and then it goes 3 inches, 2 inches, just over 1 inch, 3 quarters, and just shorter and shorter. So basically, 
you're just getting that nice tapered fall. Most of the fish are going to be at the bottom third, um, usually where you're fishing. You're not going to be getting many bites through the water at all. And that's why this tapered rig is so important and I absolutely adore using it. So that's my short swim. Now, my long swim, <clears throat> so that's my top kit in three where I'm just on a slope, probably about a foot up from where the slope ends and it goes to the silt. My long swim is, it's about four inches deeper, I'm going to say, and I'm proper on the silt here. Yeah, so there's, where's five foot? There's, there's 60 inches, five foot. So my short swim was probably here. So yeah, it's probably, yeah, about five or six inches deeper. Now, different float on this one. <clears throat> Remember, this is where I'm going to be waiting for bites. So that's why I've got a finer bristle on, just so there's hardly any resistance there when the fish takes that bait. I forgot to tell you where I plumbed up to, didn't I? Both, both swimmers, folks, on the slope, I plumbed up to the middle of the body, and on this one, I plumbed up sort of like maybe a little bit further down. Because we're on silt, but obviously, silt's not going to play a, a big role or anything like that. I've just gone a little bit further down more to cope with the wind. Even though the wind's on my back, it's still a bit, little bit tiny, ripply out there. So I've just gone that little bit deeper. Uh, final float, 414's a little bit heavy as well, just to, again, any amount of undertow, if the wind changes direction um, and just get that stability through the rig, that's why I've gone a little bit heavier. So 414's and then coming through the rig, exactly the same again, folks. We have got tapered shot in again. And again, it ends at sort of 18 inches. Be through the water rig, ended at 18 inches. This is exactly the same. So we've got number nines, we've got five number nines there, and then these are all number tens again. Size 18, SFLB hook, four inches of points and acupower, and then four inches, three, and then it's just exactly the same again. No difference whatsoever, but oh, elastic's exactly the same as well. Fives, um, fives elastic. The, the thing you've got to consider is them fish, yeah, they're not they're so prone to resistance so if you're fishing your traditional sort of bulk and two droppers bulk and three droppers there's just too much resistance there uh, and you could potentially miss bites if your shots aren't close to your hook whereas that tapered tapered shot in when you're laying the rig in holding a tight line you can watch what's happening on your float as them shots are coming through um, through the water and the bottom third of the rig where obviously most of the fish are going to be um, it's such an important aspect to my fishing either that or strung out but strung out is just going to take that little bit too long to get down to the bottom i don't think there'll be many fish through the water i've not seen one fish top obviously strung outs more when it gets that little bit warmer and certainly fishing shallow did i mention shallow i'm not going to be fishing shallow today folks i promise you um so yeah getting that tapered shot and if you've not tried it but uh as far as uh, everything else goes i think we need to go and catch some fishes now folks and show you that everything i've been waffling about for the last however long actually works yeah